St. Jerome was born around 342 AD. He was well educated in his youth, but also a free-spirited young man. He rejected his Christian upbringing to behave as he pleased. Knowing his behavior was wrong, St. Jerome often visited the catacombs of the martyrs in Rome. The hunting crypts eventually scared him into behaving better. He reformed his ways and was baptized in 366 as a young man. Jerome was attracted to the monastic life and began traveling, visiting cities in Italy, Gaul, Greece, and Egypt, as well as the Holy Land. He settled outside Antioch for a time and tried to live as a hermit for a few years. Jerome was widely renowned for his intellect and skills at translation. The church continually asked him to become a priest, but he refused, preferring to remain aloof from politics and to live as a monk. Eventually, Jerome was ordained with the promise that the church would allow him to pursue his own practice of the faith. Jerome was also known as a historian. He visited Rome in 382, and Pope Damasus forced him to stay and serve as a secretary. The Pope sent him to work on translating the Bible into Latin. After Pope Damasus died, Jerome was free to return to the Holy Land, but he continued working on the Bible. Several holy people assisted him, including St. Paula, who served as an aide and a friend and helped him establish a monastery in Bethlehem. Jerome wrote letters arguing details of the faith. He corresponded with several people who would later become saints themselves. Jerome's translation of the Bible became the Vulgate, which today, 1600 years later, remains the standard Latin translation of the scriptures. He once remarked that ignorance of scripture is ignorance of Christ. Jerome died in 420 AD and was subsequently canonized. Saint Jerome is often depicted with a lion and sometimes an owl. His feast day is September 30th and he is the patron saint of archaeologists, Bible scholars, librarians, students, and translators. <laughs>